Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to episode number three of our Leaks for Trailblazer Reloaded series. Man, this is kind of a tongue twister to say, but if you guys missed the last episode, I really recommend you to watch it. If you do not want a spoiler, do not look at my feet. That being said, let's continue where we left off and enjoy today's video. I guess the first thing worth mentioning is I did decide to train my mining from 40 to 54 on the gem mines, so I should actually be having quite a lot of uncuts as you can see a lot of topaz even a ruby which i need to make a lot of tasks that are very easy so we're gonna go ahead and grab chisel and we will just uh, grab our uncuts and we will need this literally just a few seconds later so let's go ahead and start off by chiseling these which I do believe should also be a task. There we go. Successfully cut it. It's only 10 points, never mind. But these are gonna be amazing, and you will see why. Well, the main reason... Also, I forgot I have a banker's note, so I could just grab all my uncuts, and I can leave the rest in the bank because I don't need them for what I'm about to do right now. Okay, so if I trade this guy, I do believe I should be able to sell this. And I can get a bunch of trading sticks. And all I need to do here is I need to buy these. So I probably have way too much... Uh, but let me go ahead and cut all of this first anyways. Eh? Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. I was gonna go controversial. Alright, so there we go. So we now did that. Uh, can I sell it back? Because I only really care about sticks. But also, I want to see if I can maybe get the red topaz machete, which I have the exact number. Can I wield it? That's 80 points, by the way. That's beautiful. I think this one's kind of useful, so I'm actually going to keep it. And I'm just going to chisel the rest, get enough trading sticks to do my next step. So, you probably guessed it. I want to enter the hardwood grove. I think I can just quick pay this and just get straight in. That's going to be a task. And... Okay, and it appears I can't chop this until I help with the Taibo 1i minigame first. Alright, let's go ahead and do it. I believe I can just go ahead and uh, kill the spiders though. Ah, uh, never mind. I think I need to complete the quest first, huh? I don't think I can start getting any sort of a reputation before I do the quest. And I can't do the quest because I need to get an agility potion. Yeah, none of this does anything. Oh, man. So look at this. I had this guy like seven times and I didn't set a bank pin for my account. But now he checks, he sees that I have a bank pin and now he gives me the lamp. So this is like different and new. I've never really seen this. Now you may be wondering where I'm gonna put this lamp. If you pay a little bit of a close attention, you will see her blurry struggling. Let's just go and chuck it here. See the XP? 2.2k. I'll probably get a base level 20 as well, so that's beautiful. And I'm just gonna chuck all the lamps into her because this seems to be like a pretty hard skill for me to level at the moment. But maybe I should have thrown it in attack as well because I do want to get 60 attack. And this right here is going to be my AFK spot for, well, when I need to AFK. Uh, we're just gonna be chopping this mahogany and when this is down, we're gonna chop this stick. And this is also gonna help us in the future with our construction training going all the way to 99. And this is gonna help us reach 99 woodcutting, which is also going to be a big point booster when obviously we need to just kind of chill. So this is what I'm gonna do right now and I'm gonna get some rest. Chill time is completed. We got all the way to 83 wood cutting and we have 36 beginners, five hard clues, two easies, four mediums and one elite. Uh, I'm gonna AFK a little bit longer and then we're gonna look into completing some of these hearts, elites and mediums, see if we get some good rewards and then move on to a bunch of tasks. Because today is the day I unlock the very last area. I guess one of the things worth doing is 75 magic logs. It's a very big point task, so might as well start chopping down these magic trees here in desert. There it is, big 80 points for 75 magic logs chopped. Is it time for us to do some clues? I guess we might as well, right? This one might be a little bit out of the blue, but there is 50 fire making, which means I can now light these mahogany logs that I plan on chopping a lot of whilst AFKing. Now, I don't think I'll be burning all of these, but I need to get to level 60, so I mean, I might as well. I thought I would never see the day where I can defeat the lesser demon, but there it is. 
I only completed two hard clues, the rest were all Garazi jungle steps, which I cannot do. And the elite one is... I need to go to the abyss. I don't know if there is a way around it, but either way, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, open these two caskets. And who knows, maybe we pull something crazy, you know? It is still hard casket, after all, that can upgrade to an elite, so let's take a look. Start off with the Arma item. I thought it was Bendos, by the way. That is not bad with some sharks. Well, a lot of sharks. So that's pretty... And the rune pickaxe, by the way. So these are all really good. And the magic shortbow, which might actually be a task. So hold up. Magic shortbow. Yeah, that's a task. And a pretty good one as well. I don't think any of this is a task necessarily. But we'll take it. That's a pretty good chest. And the next one is... That is beautiful. Couple of blood runes is whatever. This is good alks. Good alks. Zami chaps are very good. And then Saradom install is also pretty decent. So two really good hard clue rewards. I'll take it. Nice. I don't think there's a way. I don't think I can go up this way. I think it's a one way entrance. Yeah, so there is no way for me to do this clue then. I can't go through wilderness obviously. So another elite unfortunately gone all right not too bad i mean it's okay it's fine let's uh do suliusep i think all the way to 85 wood cutting and suliusep cap does not want to drop however i found a little cool trick where i can go ahead and find very easy tasks so we will do those uh, let's just say in a moment but i will however first finish this rotation so i'm not lost next time i come around i also got really a lot of fossils which I didn't expect that I would get this many from here. So this is gonna help when I need some lamps or something like that. I don't think the game is giving me Suliusep mushrooms at all, by the way. Look. I have zero mushrooms. So my banker isn't actually banking... Okay, so this has to be bugged with endless harvest right now. Because I'm getting no mushrooms. That's why I'm getting no Suliusep cap. That's why it's taking so long. Uh, let's just go do a bunch of tasks then. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. Okay, let's see if this is actually a task. I feel like it should be. Yeah, nice. I'm committed to unlocking a new area right now. Let's do a little bit of speed run in the task department. Start off by entering the champs guild. That's 40. Okay, so I'm kind of doing two things at once right now. I'm trying to unlock blackjacks, but also since I'm already here, I might as well do seven rooms of the pyramid plunder. But as you can see, these are super easy tasks to do. I just need to figure out where the entrance is, and we're just gonna try and do this real quick. That's the first one. That's the second one. That's the third one. Fourth one. It's actually so many tasks in a row. It's like th this place is so crazy for points and tasks. Boom, and then I can do one more. And here we go, the last one. We're gonna come back here to finish the job once we have 91 thieving. Where's the exit? There we go. And now I can continue with the blackjack mini quest. Now we're gonna come here and get compost and then super compost. I don't think I need this cape, but I mean, I have nothing else. Might as well put it on. Pretty good. Only 40 tasks away till the next area, but I believe I put... Yeah, there it is. I made this compost at the very start, so this is probably gonna be a task, I would assume. Yeah, so that's a task, and then if I chuck this in as well, that wasn't anything. Okay, but still, a bunch of tasks in a row, 40 left to go, let's unlock the new area. Prayer level, there we go, plus 80, just like that, easy. Alright, that's a Falador lamp after I've done some Varok laps, nice and 40 points there. Okay, surely this will work, right? I do this, and then I pay southeast. And that should also be protect your crops. There we go. Nice. Two tasks. If I'm not mistaken, I can make these planks. Boom. I have all the resources here that I need in order to fix this camp up. Let's uh, figure out if I can do it. That's a chest. And that's actually a task as well, which is beautiful. I don't really know what I need to build in this area. That's a well. This is probably buildable. Bonk. This is buildable. There we go. Almost fully done. Getting nice construction XP for that as well. And I think something in here will be buildable and this whole place is gonna be fixed. This and this. Is that everything? That seems to be everything. I do believe once you fix the camp up, you can speak to this guy. And he should be giving us some fossils or some sort of rewards. And just like that, he gives us the rewards. Nice, perfect. I mean, a part of me really wants to put it on a tag just so I would have 60. But realistically, that's definitely not worth it. So looking at just the state of my skills, I think it would be silly not to put everything in Herblor. So because of that, let's just begin with the first one. 24,000, we're up to 37. 
move on to another one that is up to 43 and that's actually really good so we're gonna add one more and then i think i can even do extra so going from basically 0 to 47 herb is uh, really good and uh, we have a few more we can add let's take a look so again i think we just commit to herb 24,000 more I'm just gonna do it 20 42,000 for that one and then another 42,000 and we're now 56 herb lore out of nowhere basically which you know what I think it's pretty good but what I'm gonna do right now if you look at my base stats they're actually quite decent I'm missing a bit of fletching to get to 40 and I'm missing a bit of strength to get to 40 I think that's gonna be my next goal it's mine agility potion Please. Yes. Sorry, I'm in the middle of eating, but you don't understand. I would not be able to complete Taibo 1i quest if it wasn't for this random dude coming to me in game and me having a greamy irit in my inventory. This would not be possible. Oh my, this is so good. This gives me such a breathing room for my AFK 50 million fishing. This is so, so amazing, by the way. Uh, I guess after we find the dig site, we're gonna try and complete Taibo 1. I, I know I still need a spear, but spear should not be that hard to get, I think. Uh, we need to do a little bit of farming of the jokers to get an iron spear, which should be a 1 in 32 drop chunks. And if we get this, we should then have all the items to actually complete this. I hope this is pretty fast. I mean, I don't expect this to be long. 100 yogurts in right now no sign of spear so we should have three by now uh, we're just gonna quickly dip and come back but surely i get it fast right i mean i can't get it fast anymore this takes a little bit of time but yeah just spear and then i can do taibo one eye and then we are actually chilling there it is the iron spear it is obtained let's do the quest oi 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 i don't have the fishing level to catch a karamb one it's a rough day to play the game like it is what it is okay we are decided we're gonna do temporos for five fishing levels and then try to finish the quest by getting a karamb one i'm just gonna have to make sure i don't lose these items and we should be okay oh my god it's perfect there we go uh, 65 fishing, meaning I can now catch Karamb once. We can now return to the quest. We did two full Temporos games from 60 to 65. And now we're also going to claim the loot and see if we can get lucky on a tome or something like that. So let's see. We got two on the last one. We got how much from this one? We got two from this one. Uh, let's see if we get something good. Obviously, the, the drops are increased. But the points you get are not. So let's see. What do we need? We need tome. And that's about it, I think. Boss, Spirit Flakes, that's pretty good, collection log item is solid, and we basically got more flakes, okay. Was I able to fish here the whole time? I was. Does it give normal fishing XP? It does. So I never actually even needed an agility potion just to do the fishing here, but look, it's better to have the quest done than to not have a quest done, okay? It's fine. There we go, big XP drops, obviously these are all multiplied by 12, so what's my attack now? I didn't get a level, damn it. Uh, but most importantly, we got uh, 65 fishing. We can now AFK catch Karamb once. And also, I can speak to all three brothers, get uh, a little bit more things. But then, uh, we are 20 tasks away. And I need to unlock this area. I want to unlock this new area. And we are super close to the next relic. And you guessed it, I also want that. So, if I quickly speak to this guy. I think if I speak to all of them, they give me like extra rewards that I haven't had claimed yet. Yeah, that's 60,000 fishing. That is beautiful. This guy gives us 60,000 cooking, thank you very much, up to 58, and there we go, oh, 30,000 attack and 30,000 strength, that's actually pretty solid. Uh, so with that in mind, let's go catch some Karambwans. There it is, 50 Karambwans have been caught. Oh yeah, he's angry. Hey, there we go, we're mushroom now. Easy. So how many points is this thing then? Just medium? Oh, that was just... Wait, maybe I need to put it on the thingy on top actually for it to work how we should work that I should be able to rub and do fossil island Bam, that's the task. Perfect. This works for gaming. If this doesn't work then uh, unlucky Wait, I can just buy this one. Bam easy nice There we go, that's the first small KC and the only one I plan on doing for now, but still easy 40 points 
big level 80 crafting already we can now work with glories and i do have one hmm, maybe that could be a task oh but my magic is not high enough to be enchanting glories at this point in the game but yeah still training crafting i'm just going for 10 agility tickets right now so we can buy snapdragon for a task and then we're gonna find some other things to finish off these 11 tasks we got 10 tickets if we go here to pirate or is it this guy i think it's this guy i can trade it for a snapdragon that is 40 points and we are just 10 tasks away from an area and super close to the new relic as well base level 40 we're just doing quick fletching training in order to get to 42 to make a willow shield for another very easy task 27,000 xp for fixing a few things around his house you now gained enough points to unlock a tier 6 relic okay so we almost synced it perfectly but not quite this mahogany homes gives quite a lot of points actually so let's go ahead and uh, head over to the relic section and this is uh, this is pretty exciting times this is pretty exciting times because we got a couple of options and if you know what i'm gonna take which is gonna be fremenic desert and asgarnia you will know that i have no access to strong prayers therefore ruinous prayers seem extremely tempting we also have this farmer's fortune which is basically guaranteed infinite amount of farmed resources alongside basically 99 farming banked almost instantly but i'm gonna skip on it and i'm gonna struggle a little bit with my potions and whatnot and then there's also equilibrium which basically just shares experience if you're going for like max fast xp whatever maybe this is decent but i know my pick since the start of the leagues and that's going to be the ruinous powers obviously i prioritize something that you can't play this in the main game right so just because of that this is extra like interesting for me so we will now obtain ruinous powers a powerful alternate prayer book with all prayers unlocked and this relic gives us an item and must be unlocked at the bank so because of that let's nicely go to the bank real quick select it confirm it look at us go and just like that we now receive the ruinous power 7500 points for the next relic basically double of what we already obtained however these i believe are going to be very good for our future of basically going for all the god wars drops and all the dks and stuff like that so if we change this prayer book oh it is beautiful it is absolutely beautiful so what do we have we got rejuvenation ancient strength all of the stuff like that but i don't have any of the good stuff yet so i have to kind of figure out what all of this does this increases attack by 25 and strength this heals me apparently this recoils damage. Oh, if I have recoils, okay. Apparently I can hit faster if I eat food. What? Like, just, just, it's so crazy. Boosted combat stats last longer. Like, I, these are gonna be bad. I need these ones. Range attack increase and range strength increase. This, I need 84. Bro, I'm so close. There's no way I'm one off. And then obviously we have our typical melee prey, range prey, magic prey. But that means it protects me against that style, but it deals like more damage with other styles uh, but yeah we need one more prayer level to really start utilizing this let me tell you i'm looking forward to it however before we fully end this video let's also unlock a new area because uh well you know i want to unlock the last area and we're six tasks away so let's get it done i decided to use a little bit of our money to invest in some construction training there's very there's some easy construction tasks but also if i complete a bunch of construction tasks then i have uh well it's also part of the tasks that we get so that's 27k xp this is going to be level 65 and if we click continue we can now build superior garden which is not the point uh, it should be somewhere in here but anyways we can now build mahogany portal in our house which is what i'm gonna do but first i need some mahogany planks and that's gonna cost us quite a little bit of money i think okay mahogany expensive let's go house let's go building mode i don't think i need this up north so we're just gonna build over it build a portal chamber what is it there we go One hundred thousand. and i think is it this that i need no it is this that i need there we go mahogany portal bang 40 points for that one now i also want to start doing some birdhouse runs to get uh, you know the good passive hunter xp so because of that let's make some of the things here first off oh do i need to like this and then upgrade this and then upgrade to this and we're just gonna upgrade it all the way this and i need more of these and then this boom so now I can work at this and I think I can just make 
uh, clockwork, is it clockwork mechanism or clockwork toy? I feel like it's clockwork mechanism. That seems about right. And I think this is basically what we need to make. Can I make more? Yeah, so we need four of these and then we can start uh, looking into doing some birdhouse runs. Oh, we're getting close. So this is the first step to the puzzle, which is 5900, which now allows us to create you birdhouse traps. We're gonna pick the rest up. And this is basically what we already have here. I've never really done this, so... Do I just do this? Uh, seems pretty simple. And we're just gonna chug these and put some seeds in and we should be getting some tasks in the process. Build this. Now we put it in. And now we wait. Uh, we can just cancel these black dragons. I mean, we have a lot of points, it's fine. So one of the tasks is to simply get an assignment from this guy. Most giants will do it later. It's actually pretty good because I can get the keys as well. And now we're going to go to pest control and we're actually going to do two games real quick. Would you look at that? Pray at an altar. We now have Padawa teleport. Okay, let's just do Padawa teleport. That's a bunch of points, by the way. And I also need to cast one more spell. We are exactly one task away to unlocking our final area of the account. Let me just go ahead and quickly get this done. There's probably more things I could do on this spell book. And I mean, I might. But I think for now, all we're gonna do is cast this on a man. And there it is. We splashed. Cast an ice rush is completed. You can now unlock a brand new area. And this is basically what we have been waiting for. This is where we're going to be ending today's video. So we are going to go for Tidan. Nah, we're going to go Fremenic. We're going to go Fremenic. It's going to be nice. We're going to do Vorketh. We're going to do DKs. We're going to do Duke. We're going to get a Duke pet or the little little chunk, whatever he's. He's not Duke, is he? Or is he Duke? The, the weird looking guy with eyes. I, I don't know the names. Yeah, we can do Phantom, Muskpa, DKs, obviously Releka Slayer Cave. Waterbirth Island Dungeon, Vorketh, Basilisk Nike. So I can also get the Nezi Helm upgraded, right? And then Duke Succulus. So there we go. Let's go ahead and uh, not procrastinate any longer. We unlock it. Fremenic, it's decided. It is over. It is done. We are a Fremenic warrior. And the main reason for that, if some of you are wondering, is obviously the first league was all about chambers. And honestly, I do not enjoy doing chambers on repeat over and over and over again. So that's the reason to not go current. Tiranen is just not very interesting because Bofa isn't that good. Uh, because literally crossbow is better. Kenderin could be a good option, but I feel like it lacks a little bit of fun. The only thing you really get from Kenderin is like gorillas and like jewelry. Wilderness is just not really it, I think. And Mauritania is just uh, very melee oriented. Uh, so Fremenic just seemed like uh, the best option for us. Obviously, if you guys want to see what we do in Fremenic, feel free to come back tomorrow for another YouTube video. And if you have nothing to do, you can also check out my stream, where I stream every day many, many hours. So feel free to join over on the Twitch live stream as well. That being said, thank you very much for watching today's episode and have a beautiful rest of your day.